We now look at a shifter. This is an 8-bit shifter. It shifts the bits either to the left or the right. It would be called a logical shift because if it shifts the bits to the right, zeros come in at the high end. If it shifts them to the left, zeros come in at the low end. In an arithmetic shift, bits like the sine bit would come in during a right-going shift. Anyway, uh, it is a shifter. This here, direction, is, determines the direction of the shift. Zero means it's going to shift to the left. One means it's going to shift to the right. It's set to zero, so it's shifting to the left. We have one bit here, bit number one. Notice these are numbered zero through seven, and these are numbered zero through seven. Uh, bit number one is ending up in position zero. It is being shifted to the left. If I turn on bit number four, it ends up in bit position number three. Alternatively, if I switch on to go right shift, you'll see that one ends up in position two, and four ends up in position five. What it does is fairly straightforward. So let's go back to the, uh, let's go back to the uh, left shift here. The one coming down has two opportunities to escape. It can either go through this and or this and. Well, in the case where zero is the direction, that goes through a knot, an inverter, and that produces a one on the other side of this and gate. So if the, if bit position number one is a one, notice these are joined on uh, to both of the ands, it means the output of this and, which goes to bit position number zero, is going to be one. Alternatively, if I switch it to a right going shift, this bar across here is all zero, but this bar here is one, and uh, it activates the alternative and. So the one from position one can get to position two. The ors here are basically to allow, in this case here, the or allows something from position one to go to position two in the case of a right going shift, or something from position three to end up in position two in the case of a left going shift. Very simple, can be extended, um, not that complicated. Looks messy, but it's basically the same thing over and over again for as many bits as you have.